in for Spirit today. Um, I'm joined by Nicola Carey, captain of Spirit, alongside player of the match, Mihiko Kaur and Lindsay Patel. So Nicola, big win. You must be happy to be up and running in the tournament and with the bonus point in the bag. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It's like, um, yeah, it's always nice to um, start off with a win. I thought really good team performance, uh, led by this one up front. Um, yeah, really to bowl three overs in the power play is exceptional. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, we know, you know, tiny boundaries, but I thought you bowled really well with the conditions. And then I thought all our bowlers actually did really well. And um, yeah, followed up with the, the bat with some nice cameos there to get the job done in the end. And um, Mahika, you said in your interview earlier that you had your eye on getting DeAndre Johnson as a wicket. And today you picked up that. That must have felt pretty good in your first favourite game. Yeah, I think I remember I was getting interviewed before we left Dubai um, and I was asked who I wanted to get. So I said Didi because obviously she's amazing. Like she's quite scary as well to bow to. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, I'm uh, quite happy with that and quite happy to get our first win as well. Yeah, and Lindsay, you've joined up with Team Spirit this year for your first outing with Fairbreak. How has it been for you so far? Uh, it's been a lovely outing with the group and all the girls are amazing and Getting to know one another is, is a real cool um, experience as well, and playing with stars from around the world is also a bonus, so it's been a great experience so far. And so, Nicola, you got one up on the Barmy Army in the third place playoff this year, so you just carried on in the same kind of vein. How has the team gelled coming back together again? Yeah, I think the team's gelled really nicely. We've got, you know, the core group is still together and then we've got some new faces um, like these two um, that have joined us and fitted in seamlessly. And, um, yeah, I think we've got a really nice, well-balanced squad and um, hopefully we can take some confidence out of this win um, leading into the next few games. And, uh, Mihiko, you have coming off the back of playing under-19s early on this year. How does this differ to playing in a tournament like that? Um, I think the under-19 World Cup was, like, obviously it's a World Cup, so... A lot more nerves, um, but like over here, obviously you're playing with people that you've never played with before, which is super exciting. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed myself today, and I hope that we can continue this for the rest of the tournament. And uh, Lindsay, what's been the highlight for you so far? Oh, traveling around Hong Kong. Like we've been, I've been walking around. Um, when I got here, I like took a took a little trip into the town, and it's been cool to see the culture around here, and it's been a good experience. And so between now and the next game, Nicola, what is the plan as a team, other than obviously get through first? <laughs> yeah, after that, well, we've actually got, I think, a day off or a couple of days off. I'm sure maybe the coaches might squeeze a training session in there. Um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll have a word with Damien, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, maybe the girls can get out and explore a little bit of Hong Kong, um, get some tips <laughs> off Nancy over there, because she's obviously been, um, yeah, having a look around. So I think a bit of downtime, and then we'll get back into it in a couple of days. Um, I think we have some questions from the floor. Hi, Gumesh has a question for Mahika. Gumesh, go ahead. Why don't you unmute yourself and ask the question? Yeah. Uh, hi. Congrats on the win today, Mahika. First, uh, and I just wanted to ask. You spoke about you know getting the wicket of Deandra Norton, and uh, because obviously she's a big player and all that. But what was your mindset or approach at the top of the mark? Like, what were you thinking when you were uh, I think obviously they are quite big names but at the end of the day you're bowling to the same set of stumps the same bat so I was just trying to keep it super simple because in the past I have gotten quite carried away um, so yeah just trying to keep it simple stick to my strengths which is top of off um, and yeah thankfully I executed it today Uh, yeah, we thought that obviously the pitch was quite bouncy today, so uh, might as well use it to our advantage. Uh, just one more to carry, if I may. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. How how big a luxury is to you know have a uh, such a tall and left arm seamer who could swing the ball both ways <laughs> within the bowling department, and then to have someone like. Yeah, I think I've hit the jackpot um, here. Like, there's, I said it at the um, coin toss. It's pretty unique to have a big, tall left arm bowler um, in the women's game. There's, I don't, I can't name any going around really. So, 
um, yeah, to have Mahika in our team is a huge luxury. Um, taking the first few overs in the power play, really difficult time to bowl, but swings them in beautifully and coming from that height and on that wicket is like incredibly difficult to play. Um, so good luck to the rest of the batters. And then it's obviously really nice on the flip side um, with our batting lineup to have Dunks at the oh, Dunks at the top there and um, Bryce as well. They were really solid for us last year. And then even having Jeans come in as well um, at three who wax them. So I think we've got a really nice, um, nicely balanced team. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what the rest of the group can do um, going forward. Thank you and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions? Kalyani, would you have anything to ask? Yeah. Uh, yeah, just one for uh, Mahika. Uh, hi, my Kalyani from Women's Trade Zone. Uh, we've seen how much uh, your mother is involved in your great game and how she enjoys um, your bowling. Uh, we've seen it in the Under-19 World Cup. Uh, do you think she must have uh, enjoyed uh, your today's um, bowling spell? And uh, can you tell if, uh, how are the celebrations going to be like in your household? Yeah, I think for the World Cup, obviously, my mom and my dad came over to watch. Um, and they were like, half the time my dad was dancing in the stands. So <laughs> I'm sure he'd be quite happy. But um, yeah, she wanted to come over here to watch as well. Um, but unfortunately, that couldn't happen. So yeah, I'm sure, I hope she'll be happy. Like, she should be happy. <laughs> um, yeah. Congratulations on today. And can I have one for uh, Nicola, if I may? Yeah, I think yeah, I think Australia have done it really well with the big bash, um, you know, and, and now we're seeing all these other little T20 leagues pop up around the world, which I think is is really good for the women's game. I think, you know, I look at India and with the WPL and their side is just getting better and better, and I'm I'm actually a little bit scared to see where they're going to be at in the next um, I don't know. I reckon in five years' time they're going to be absolutely dominating. But that's what you want to see. You want to see you know international cricket being um, competitive and. Um, as much as I like seeing Australia win, I'm sure everyone else is probably sick of it. So, um, you know, we, we, we actually do want to see um, all the other nations around the world getting better and better and um, creating those really high quality matches around the world. So I think these leagues and fair break is a really good example of that. Um, getting as many people exposed to, um, you know, playing with um, good players, you know, international players and helping them get better. And I think that's only going to grow the game globally. Uh, thank you and all the best for the entire tournament. Thank you.